My name is Jesse Benton, and I'm the Senior Vice President of the Campaign for Liberty. Well, sir, we're on Valley Forge, Pennsylvania, and we're here for our Liberty Summit, our Northeastern Liberty Summit. We've been having these conferences and conventions all over the country, and uh, the purpose is twofold. One is to bring people together to, to talk about ideas and, and celebrate liberty and freedom in our Constitution, and the other is to give real-world political training and constitutional training to our grassroots activists so they can then go back out in their communities, win grassroots fights, win elected office, and start to take our country back. Congressman Paul is our honorary chairman at Campaign for Liberty, and he's just released a new book called End the Fed. Uh, it just launched today on September 16th. We're very excited about it. It's already doing extremely well on Amazon. And as a follow-up to his New York Times number one bestseller from last year, The Revolution and Manifesto. So we had the first ever public book signing here today. We had about 700 people show up to get signed autographed books. Amazing turnout, really, really positive. And uh, this is going to be an incredibly effective and positive tool to get in people's hands so they could really read and understand the monetary issue. They can share this book with their friends, learn more about it, and learn how the Federal Reserve is at the root and heart of so many of our financial and monetary problems. Oh, okay. Now, and one of them is a grandson that he delivered. Oh, there uh, he gets his name. Life. He gets no, his name on Jeremy. Jeremy. Anybody I deliver, I put their name. Yeah. To, okay. And it's J-E-R. E M Y. Jeremy. Jeremy. Yes. And how old is Jeremy? I don't know. Twenty-three or four. And he a couple got, years ago. Yeah. And he got a grandson, or he got a son now. Oh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. gentleman in the white t-shirt. Two of them? Mm -hmm. You got one more time with the camera? If you get it fast, we got Alrighty. limited time. Thank you, sir. Okay, good. Appreciate that. Okay, you have three. I am. Hello. Hello, Ron. Nice to see you again. Good to see you. How you been? Everywhere you've been, practically. You're going to get tired of that one day. Oh no, never get tired. I'm glad you're here. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Nice to see you. Well, oh, so far so good. <laughs> no cramps yet. Good to see you. Good to see you again. My favorite memory is being in an elevator with you and Timothy Leary in Chicago in 1991. I can't believe that. I at the remember LP convention in 91. Oh, I don't recall that because I he I, I was at his home one uh -huh. time and he had like a little reception for me. That was pretty wild too. Yeah, it was just. But I don't remember the one in uh, Chicago. Yeah, it was just the three of us in an elevator. Well, it was more memorable to me than you. <laughs> but I love your work. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you doing this. Glad to see people interested. <laughs> Thanks for coming out for us. Good to be here. What's it going to take for you to, from, what do you need from us to run in 2012? <laughs> well, that's too early to talk about. <laughs> well, I read my master's thesis on the Federal Reserve System. Oh, are you? Good. It's getting the attention of a lot of people these days. I'm glad your generation looking into it. Because it might take us a couple. Of, if they don't destroy themselves, it'll take us a little bit longer to make sure we get rid of it. But they're likely to self-destruct. <laughs> All right. Hello. Good to see you. Hello. How are you doing, Mr. Nice to see you. I'm the only old geezer here. No, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> Young in spirit, though, right? Just, just a bottle. Hello. 22 years in the Army, a niece in the Air Force, a son in the Army Reserve, and a nephew in Afghanistan. Wow. Military family, huh? Yes. I don't know. My, my dad wouldn't understand that. Very good. Good. Thank you, sir. Can you Glad you're here. Campaign cola? Nope. It's against the rules. <laughs> Can't do it. Thank you very much. The other one's got to worry about. There you are. Is this yours? Oh, you got it. Oh, okay. This one's yours. Okay. Trying to give your book away.
Yeah. There you go. Hi. Nice to see you. We're going to go back to Pittsburgh and get ready for that G20 summit. They'll do what? Oh, for the summit. What, are we gonna, what do we expect from that? Uh, probably not a whole lot, other than behind the scenes, there'll be a lot of mischief planned, yeah. but we won't hear about it for a while. But nothing good is going to come out of it for us. <laughs> They're going to work hard on internationalizing a reserve currency. But it won't be very easy. Oh, there you go. Remember, we took care of green tree for you. Good, Primer. right. <laughs> and yes. Dorma, right. Okay. Thank you, Jimbo. And you copied the same constitution that we used to have? Mm -hmm. <laughs> We're going to stick with the original one. <laughs> the original one. Not the one they followed down in Washington. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? My name is John. Uh, can I get a picture as well, too? Yeah, I think so. I'm with a bulletin. I'm writing an article for you. Uh -huh. How you doing? You got any? I'm going to be around, so. Okay, I can quote you from some of the stuff you say, but if you have anything special you want to say? Well, are you going to be there tonight? I don't uh, have a lot of tonight. I have to get back and I have file a lot of things. this. Uh, I don't have anything special to say unless you want to ask me something. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, I, I mean, we're, we're here to uh, promote the campaign for liberty, and, and liberty is the subject, and part of that, of course, is dealing with the... Uh, size and scope uh, of the Federal Reserve because uh, they intrude on our liberties through the financial system, so that's been a key issue for us. Is, is that like the key issue you're going to speak about tonight, the size no, of the Federal no, Reserve? And... It'll be a lot of it, but it won't be the only thing. It, in the concept of liberty, liberty is the opposite of government. And the more government you have, the less liberty you have. And one of the enhancers of big government is the Federal Reserve. So if you need to finance war, you can do it without direct taxation through inflation. Or if you want a welfare state, you can expand your welfare state without paying for it until later on by just printing money. So the um, monetary system is intertwined. And of course, then it's corrupt because it serves special interests and, and it's to totally secret and the Congress doesn't assume responsibility for itself. It doesn't seem to be any way to get corruption out of government. <laughs> no, no, that's like why you want. That's why you want. That's why you want very, very small government because it's it's the nature of government to be corrupted. Uh, so there will always be that temptation. Uh, so the smaller the government, uh, the less harm they can do to us. All right, that's great. Okay, good. Thank very you. Very good. Doctor. Glad you stopped by. Good. I guess there are three options, and it's up to you. One is got that for you. You could just leave when you feel everyone's got their hands on. The argument against that is that they're, we've advertised till 2.30. Hi. Keep up the fight. You? So there are probably some people that are, are probably rushing to get here, and they get here at 2.15, and you're not here, they'll be disappointed. Uh, the, other, so, uh, the other option would be that you just stay. The other option is that you uh, head up to your room for a half hour, take a half hour break. It's 1.20 right now. You could come go up till, till 2 and then come back at 2, and then the people that have gotten here could have uh, if it gets quiet, I'll go upstairs for 30 minutes. Okay. If it's if there's nothing to sign, then I'll what come about, back. What about telling people outside they can come in and take pictures? Is that a bad idea? Well, we could just walk out and see if that see if that happens. I don't want to announce it. Hi. Do you have a book? Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, can, you can edit. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I might. Uh, the, sound the, sound sound. the sound should be all right. I mean, it be and and this, it, this is our Constitution Day today, isn't it? Yeah. Absolutely, yes. Today. <laughs> right, September. September. Anytime? Um, you're ready. I'm ready. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Hagen Smith. Today is Constitution Day, September 17th, and I'm glad to announce that we now have 290 co-sponsors of Audit the Field Bill 1207, which means, theoretically, if it were brought to the floor today, it could be passed under suspension. You wouldn't even have to have a rule to bring it to the floor. So those individuals who are in charge of the Congress, if they wanted to, they could bring it up tomorrow and would pass uh, without any difficulty. As a matter of fact, I don't think very many would even oppose it right now because the American people demand transparency, not only in all of government, but especially now in the Federal Reserve. So this is a very important date, and hopefully the public pressure and the support for this bill will put the pressure on the Congress to make sure this bill gets passed. Thank you, doctor. Okay. We want you for our doctor. We don't want Obama's health care. <laughs> we want Rand Paul for my doctor. <laughs>
That's my job. It's called that. I did the power transfer to go to a mine. As turn your night goes by. Uh-huh. I didn't quite. Thank you. Go ahead. Yeah. OK, you're welcome. What's going on? Uh, they should be, uh, you, you know, we'll, we'll come back if there's, okay. we'll, we'll, we'll go we'll, out for we'll a little bit. We'll come back maybe around uh, 2 o'clock or 10 after 2 and two finish up anybody yeah, else just, that comes in. If, they, okay, if you can, can if, just so okay. they don't. Marine's aware that we were going to do that. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Look to Paul. Do you have a minute for? No, well, well for there, kind of we, we, kind of we have to move along. I appreciate it. I okay. understand. Thank you, Dr.